Dear learners, welcome back to your educational channel, Learn and Educate, where we were studying a few basics about the goods and service tax, continuing that series, section 2, clause 108, taxable supply. Taxable supply means a supply of the goods or services or both, which is liable to tax under the Central Goods and Service Tax Act. Thus, as per section 9 of the CGST Act, levy and collection, subject to a few provisions, uh, the tax levy of a tax called as the central goods and service tax on all the interested supply of goods or services or both except on the supply of alcoholic liquor for human consumption on the value determined as per section 15 and at such rate which is not exceeding 20 percentage and notified by the government on the recommendation of the gst council the tax shall be collected in, in such a manner as he prescribed and shall be paid by the tax person thus the maximum rate of tax of central goods and service tax can be 20 percentage and on the value determined under section 15 of the Central Goods and Service Tax Act. Subject to a few exceptions which is mentioned under section 2, the central tax on the supply of the petroleum crude, high speed diesel, motor spirit commonly known as petrol, natural gas and aviation turbine fuel shall be levied on which central goods and service tax shall be levied, GST shall be levied on the date as have been notified by the government on the recommendation of the GST council where on the Currently, the excise and VAT is applicable. Excise is charged by the central government and VAT is charged by the state government. Where the petrol is actually used, the petroleum crude, all the motor spirit diesel are used. And moreover, a few exceptions has been provided in the Schedule 3, which relates to negative list under the GST. The activities or transactions which shall not be treated neither as supply of goods nor a supply of services. A few transactions has been mentioned under Schedule 3 of the Central Goods and Service Tax must be read with Section 7, Subsection 2, Clause A of the Central Goods and Service Tax which mentioned a few services when provided by the one person or other which shall not be categorized under the supply of goods or supply of services which means it is not a taxable supply and not a supply only under the GST. Therefore, the tax of supply means a supply on which tax shall be levied. Tax shall be levied and collected as per the respective Goods and Service Tax Act enacted by the legislature and the parliament of the state, Indian territory or the government.